amount of coffee. How is it going? I hope you guys are all doing well. I know Christmas just passed and New Year's coming up. Finally got back home to our place in Massachusetts, so, you know, let's start making videos again. If you guys are liking these videos, make sure to like and subscribe. It just lets me know that you guys like them and, you know, helps me figure out what you guys want to see more. And I can push out that kind of stuff more often. Heading into the new year, I want to try and set my goal to release at least one video a week. We will see how that goes. I'm not sure if it's going to work out yet. Uh, usually pretty busy with my full-time job along with photography on the side as well. So if I have the opportunity, I'm going to be releasing at least one a week. So keep an eye out for those. Subscribe if you want to see them. Other than that, let's get right into this video. So now we need to find the image that we want to use. In this case, I'm using this image of a bottle that I took a few weeks ago. Now it's important to note that you do not want to use a photo that was taken in the summertime or just one with warm colors. It won't work. It won't look good. Just a fair warning. Use an image that's cold, wintertime. Those are always the easiest and those always make the best photos to throw snow on. So let's go ahead. We have our photo. Now we're going to need a PNG file of snow with a black background. You can use any stock website. I use Adobe stock. Whatever you choose to use, that's your own prerogative. Now we're going to go ahead to command A copy this and paste it over onto this image now make sure we have the correct layer selected we are going to edit that so free transform it we want this to cover up the entire image so now that it has we're done with that part of it now all we have to do is go to this where it says normal and then go down to screen now that already looks pretty good but to me it looks unrealistic so what we're going to do is adjust the opacity I'm gonna bring that down to around 50%, let's say. Already it looks better. But I also wanted to look a little bit more realistic, like that snow is actually falling. So what we're gonna do is go to Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. Now, I already customized these for what I typically like to see, which is usually at a negative 90 degree angle, which just means that the snow, the motion, is gonna be vertical rather than horizontal, which would be at zero degrees or 180 degrees. You could also get creative and do 45 degree angles or any variant in between, depending on how you know vicious you want that snow to seem like it's coming down. Right here, this pixels, you can adjust this to whatever you want. Obviously, if you go too high, it's just gonna leave streaks. That'll look like it's snowing really hard, but just doesn't look that great. So I usually keep it around that 50 mark. That just adds a nice little bit of blur. Makes it really nice. So we're gonna go ahead, just click OK. And just like that, we have our finished photo. This technique was one that I saw a while ago, and ever since then, it's a technique that I use for you know every single time that I want to throw snow on a photo. If you get those snow images that you have, uh, maybe five, six, seven of them, save them on your hard drive, save them on your desktop, whatever you have to do. Get those so that whenever it comes time, you can really rapidly do this so you can increase your workflow and add snow on photos that you know you didn't get snow on in the first place. Now there will be people that will say, you know, don't add snow in a photo if it didn't actually happen. Don't worry about that. Cause honestly, there's so many times when you're gonna miss the perfect lighting, the snow, the rain. A lot of times I don't wanna go outside when it's snowing too heavily like a blizzard or if it's pouring rain because I don't wanna ruin my camera and my gear. This is a really nice alternative to being able to add that little feature in afterward just to make it so you can get the look that you want. So don't worry about what people say about it. People are probably gonna say bad things about what I just did. This is a really practical thing that you can use to make your photos just look a little bit better. If you found this helpful, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try and release videos at least once a week. I want to do a lot of tutorials because I feel like over the last few years of me doing photography, I've learned quite a bit that I'd like to share with everyone. Uh, I know especially when I was a beginner, a big thing was not wanting to spend 30, 40 minutes watching a tutorial on how to do one thing. My goal is to try and keep these tutorials relatively quick. I help you guys understand it quickly in the simplest way possible. And then when it comes to your own time, and you want to do this you can go ahead and look at more settings you can adjust it even more make it look the way that you want and even just get better at it as you go 2020 was a rough year so i hope that everyone got through it just fine uh, 2021 is coming and it's hopefully going to be a lot better uh, than 2020 was especially hopefully there's not another blind side that's going to come out of nowhere so hope you guys all have a good one and stay safe and healthy